Yeah, so looking forward to uh, an exciting uh, year 2020. A uh, lot more in store uh, coming up uh, right away is our Tour de Sri Lanka for the under 19s. Uh, it's going to be an excellent opportunity for them to develop their skills, uh, and not, you know, not only develop their skills, but you know, grow as individuals. Uh, being away from home, playing cricket in a, in a different environment, uh, it will help them mature. As well, uh, in April, we're looking at the uh, senior team to tour Trinidad. Uh, we have you know, close ties with the, the clubs and the board in Trinidad. So looking forward to give our senior players a, a good opportunity to get set before the season. Uh, which is very important. Uh, we have a big year coming up and we're looking for our teams to, you know, to, to promote themselves um, and do well throughout the season. Um, in the season, we're looking forward to our fifth annual Mississauga International Cricket Festival. Uh, that's a tournament that has grown by leaps and bounds over the last few years. Uh, most recently, we've hosted teams from USA, Trinidad, uh, Barbados. At the senior level, we had teams from India last year. Uh, as well as Bermuda. So we'd be looking to expand, um, especially the junior portion of the, the tournament, uh, to, to teams from India, New Zealand, all over the world really. They're all welcome to come and participate in this tournament. Uh, it's a world-class event played on turf wickets. Um, and we've seen some really good talent coming out. Uh, and I know there'll be future national players coming out of this tournament. Um, additionally, um, and following up from our 2018 uh, successes with the, the, the Mississauga International Festival, inviting over the under-18 Trinidad uh, uh, schools team, which is a, girl, a women's team. Uh, we'll be uh, posting another team from Trinidad this summer, a women's team at the under-18 age level. So that will be an exciting um, exposure for, uh, exciting opportunity and exposure for our, our, our women's team. Uh, and women's cricket overall uh, you know, will benefit from that. Overall, we're looking to expand our programs and grow as we've been doing. We've introduced new technology, uh, new methods, in coaching, so we'd be looking to expand on that in the summer, uh, as well as giving our players more playing opportunities. We'll be looking to start our two-day cricket again for the youngsters. I want to say youngsters under 19s and possibly younger age groups, uh, giving them a chance to, to to learn and build the capacity to bat long uh, and bowlers to bowl long spells and really experience what it is to play red ball cricket. Um, that's going to be a, a great opportunity for the development and uh, you know opening up pathways. Uh, we've been sending players all over the world to play and experience different conditions, being alone over there, playing in a good cricketing setup in, in cricketing countries. So we'll be looking to expand that. You know, players will be going to India very soon, within the next uh, week actually, um, as well as our ties with New Zealand and opening up other opportunities throughout the world for players to, to gain that exposure and gain that experience and become better players. Um, so yeah, we have a big year ahead of us and uh, just looking forward to it. We're really excited and uh, you know, it starts now.